channel as you guys can tell from the title of this video it is finally here my palette I am so so happy I'm so blessed I am just filled with so many emotions I'm overwhelmed right now with the feedback oh my god you guys are going insane I actually showed the palette on Instagram live I gave a little sneak peek I didn't go too into depth but you guys went crazy for it and I am just so happy right now so I'm about to show it to you guys here she is here is the Daisy Marquez palette I'm so so excited I'm just gonna get straight to the point she is only $19 right now the only time you can get this palette for $19 is until March 3rd so you have two three days to get it for only $19 and then the price will go up to $23 so if I were you I would cop it right now to your mom your sister whoever your abuelita to cop it before the price goes up to 23 I mean 23 is still affordable but girl 19 is like a steal it's a deal before we get into it I do want to get a little emotional right now because um you know this wouldn't be possible without you guys like i don't know if some of you guys remember but in a really old video of mine in a q a somebody asked me like what is your biggest dream in your makeup career and i replied back and i said it would be to come out with my own palette or to collaborate with the brand to come out with any makeup product so when bh reached out to me I was in shock because if you guys know, I've been rocking with BH for a really, really, really long time. Ever since I started my Snapchat tutorials and then I moved to YouTube, I remember I saved up money when I was in high school to buy the Take Me to Brazil palette and now I have my own freaking palette with them. Like it is so surreal. I'm still like in shock that there is like a palette with my name on it. Like what? Like you guys, we made it. Like we made it. I am so happy. This palette is our palette, okay? This is for you guys. And you know what's really cute about it is the main reason why I wanted to put like a little bow to it kind of looks like a little gift, okay? The reason why I wanted it to be like this is because it's gonna be like a little gift for me to you as a like thank you. Thank you for your constant love and support. Doesn't matter if you're an OG or if you're new here, this is for you. This is for constantly supporting me and being there for me through thick and thin. Like if you guys know, my makeup journey has been insane. So this right here is just like all my hard work and you know i'm just i'm really happy because you guys make this possible ah i'm getting emotional i'm just so so happy i never thought that this would ever happen in a million years so i have no one else to thank but you guys for you know helping me get here and <laughs> This is, this is our palette. Um, I also want to say a huge thank you to BH Cosmetics, to their entire team. I want to say thank you to my management team. You know, this took a really long time because I wanted to perfect it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure BH Cosmetics was like so annoyed with me because you know, they would send me a formula and be like, no, this isn't perfect, like take it back. Like, no, no, it was a lot of back and forth, but she's finally here. She's perfect. I love her so much. Of course, she had to be Tiffany blue. Of course, my eyeshadow is blue. My nails are Tiffany blue. My dress is Tiffany blue. Everything has to be Tiffany blue. Um, it is like my signature color. It kind of revolves around my brand. It goes all the way back to when I was in Whittier and my whole makeup room was Tiffany blue. And I was like, oh my gosh, if I ever come out with my own palette, it would be Tiffany blue. And my dream came true. Oh my God, that kind of rhymed. Um, so now my palette is not like any other palette, okay? She's really, really unique. When I got presented this opportunity, I was like, I want to do something different, something that has never been done before. Like, yes, there's a lot of colorful palettes, but I was like, the way this is set up has never been done before. My palette does have a mirror, and here's what's crazy about it. She doesn't open up, she doesn't slide, she doesn't pull out, she detaches, all right? Now you're probably looking like, what the fuck, like what, what's going on? <laughs> so here are the colors, a little sneak peek of it. This one's brand new, you guys. If y'all were to see the OG one, oh my gosh, she is so used and abused. I'll use that one right now to show you guys the shades. But my palette is meant for it to set up like this. It's a cute little vanity. It is super travel friendly. You can literally take it anywhere, set it up like a little vanity, get ready, even when like you don't, you don't even have to use 
the shades and the palette and you can just use it as a like travel to go little vanity i hate traveling and taking my big mirror with me and like putting it in my luggage just takes so much space if you don't want the little vanity mirror you can just put it away just have a little palette you know however you want this is like a magnet so you don't have to worry about the lid coming off now let's look at the shades ah! oh my god it looks like a little cake you guys i can't believe it when i came up with the colors i was like i need something colorful i need something that has mattes shimmers pastels pops of colors nudes neutrals i was like i needed everything now this palette is more for like a warm tone gal i'm a really warm tone person i love my burgundies and my oranges there is no blue or purple matte but there is a blue and purple shimmer so there are 20 shades half of them are matte half of them are shimmer now i set this palette up to where it's really aesthetically pleasing now let me let me explain to you guys what i mean by that so when you go down here you have your mattes neutrals kind of like your everyday colors go down a row here you have like your mattes pop of colors here you have your like pastel -y, kind of light shimmer shades and then down here you have kind of like your darker everyday shimmer shape now i also set it up to where it kind of gives you a hint of some makeup ideas so if we look at it this way this kind of reminds me of like summer springtime you have like this pop of red kind of like watermelon color type of thing um you move on to this row this literally screams easter spring to me oh uh, these colors together just look so beautiful you move over here this is kind of like fall november time you have those like really rich burgundy tones gold tones and then the very last one kind of reminds me of like Christmassy New Year's type vibes i just wanted to set it up aesthetically pleasing just everywhere kind of like kind of like a little cake to me it kind of looks like a little cake it just looks so cute um we're about to go through each shade name right now and i will do some swatching now my nails are really long as you guys can tell it's a little bit hard to swatch because my nail hits the tip of this um so i'm not really able to get in there but i will go through each one and just show you guys So we're gonna go through each row down this way. So the very first color we have is Naked. Now Naked is just like your overall universal nude. You can use that to set your eyelids. Kind of like use it as a transition shade from when you have your colors touching your brow bone but you don't want you know the concealer and the eyeshadow look to look like two separate things so this is perfect to blend an eye look into the brow bone it's just your perfect overall nude and i named it naked because i was like what's another name for nude and i was like hmm, i've never seen a shade name called naked so i said let's go ahead and name it naked so here it is like i said it's just a nude neutral color the next one that we have down here is called karma now to me karma would be red i don't know if you guys remember that one um gif from ahs where um the girl's like surprise b you thought you saw the last one she was wearing like a red dress that's kind of what it reminded me of now i'm just gonna go ahead and disclose this any red shade that you see in a palette has to have a warning in the back because that color can stain your lids any color that's kind of close to red does stain your lids so i'm gonna go ahead and swatch karma for you guys oh my god look at that karma looks so fucking beautiful oh we love her all right down here we have slime and i made sure to put that with a little money sign i don't know it's just kind of cool like all my slime shit you know <laughs> so let me go ahead and swatch slime for you guys oh my god so that is slime on the finger look how freaking gorgeous that color is oh i love it okay and then down here we have royalty that's exactly what this color reminded me of it's just straight up like your burnt 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 orange shimmer shade it's really like a deep rich gold kind of orange color oh it's so freaking pretty so next up we have dulce this shade right here it's just like a perfect transition shade and then down here we have flower flower is for you guys you guys know i call you guys flowers ever since i started i felt uncomfortable 
same followers because I felt like we had a stronger bond than that. And if you're wondering, why the yellow shade? Why not like the teal Tiffany blue shade? Because yellow is a happy color. Yellow makes me happy and you guys make me happy. Plus, if you know, the middle of a daisy is yellow. So I was like, what other perfect way to name this yellow shade flower for you guys? Oh, this yellow. This next one that we have down here is named Lucid. Kind of like Lucid Dreaming. That's what I envisioned when I created this shade, it's just like a really pretty lilac purple. It's so freaking gorgeous. Okay, are you gonna focus camera? There we go. She is so freaking stunning next to her sisters. Oh, I love her. This next one that we have is called Dream. Of course, it's a shimmer, Tiffany blue kind of color. Oh, what figure do I have with my beaky? And you know, besides it like being, you know, my dream collaboration and then it being Tiffany Blue, um, as you guys know, I'm a dreamer. I'm under DACA. So I still wanted to incorporate that into my palette and I was like, that's perfect. My dream came true and I'm a dreamer, favorite color. So it all works out. The purple and the blue next to each other just looks so freaking gorgeous. Oh, oh, I love them. Next up, we're gonna move on to this row right here. So the very first color we have is called Bittersweet. Now. For those wondering, these two colors right here do look very similar, but they're not. Their undertones are different. You're probably, you know, if you're not into makeup, you're going to just look at the colors and be like, no, those are exactly the same. But then I'm the type of person that's like, oh my god, that's Periwinkle. That's Tiffany Blue. That <laughs> I'm just that type of person. So this one is more of a red undertone. It's more of a cranberry color. This one down here is more of a, like, a magenta. It has more of a pink, purple undertone to it. But anyways, let's go ahead and swatch bittersweet oh, oh oh my god so there you can see bittersweet super rich pigmented and you know what's crazy is that i actually posted this look months ago and i used that color on my eyelids and a lot of you guys didn't even know i used that one and passion fruit together all you guys were clueless i even made a tutorial on it and i was like I'm using a single shade and like low key i was like laughing because you guys didn't know and everybody was like you sneaky little bitch and i was like I'm sorry. I just wanted to use my palette so bad. Below that we had Vintage, which is straight up just like a burnt orange. Super, super rich. Super pigmented. She's just so stunning. This straight up, this, these colors next to each other make me so excited for fall. Like I'm already for fall and we haven't even been in summer. <laughs> the next color that we have down here is called Stunt. Because we all got a stunt, okay? When you look at that color, I want you to feel your best. I want you to feel like you're that bitch. Okay, so this color, even on the inner corner, or if you do like a burnt orange and like a half cut crease with that color, oh my god, so freaking gorgeous. She's so pretty. Let me just go ahead and... Oh, look at her. Oh, wait, it kind of came off of my finger, but you can still see it when you do a little... There we go, you can see her. Oh, these colors straight up just scream fall to me. They look so good. So the very last one on this row is called Bougie, which is straight up just like your perfect gold color. It's really, really pretty. Even if you just have it like on your inner corner or if you do like a brown smoky eye. Oh my God, literally all these colors scream fall to me. So the very first color that we have here is called Coco, which is just like a deep, rich brown color, of course, for hot cocoa. You guys know I love my hot cocoa. Ugh. Look at her. Oh yeah. Even the sirens are going off because they're like, oh, that's some hot fire shit right there. <laughs> Next color we have is this mint Tiffany blue color and I named it after myself because everybody knows that that's my favorite color. Um, now with this color, so here she is. Uh, that literally looks like hot cocoa to me. I don't know why. Looks so freaking pretty. I'm wearing that color on my eyelids right now. Now with this, mint tiffany color it is a little bit hard to show up because you do have to build it up if you don't want to take your time and build it up just do what i did i just applied a white base and it'll make the color pop out even more especially because it's a matte it's a little bit hard to show up so that's just my advice to you guys but as you guys can tell just from the finger swatch it is a really really pretty tiffany blue color now this next one down here is called Icy. Now, if you're an OG, this next shade, Icy, I used to always wear this little single shadow called Crystal Avalanche and it got discontinued. I couldn't find it anywhere. I literally like dig through it until there was no more and I was like, damn, if one day I come out with my palette, I'm going to come out with the shade exactly like that and better. So that is what Icy is. I was very excited when I put this color in my palette because a lot of you guys wanted that Crystal Avalanche color and you know it wasn't available, it was discontinued and I would always use it in my tutorials so a lot of you guys would be like, stop using it because I can't buy it and I was like, I'm sorry. I'm actually wearing it on my inner corners 
right now do you guys see how bright it is oh, i love it so here it is next to her sister so freaking pretty now moving on to the last shade of this row which is a lust that's kind of literally just exactly what that color reminded me of like so here it is uh, it's like a really pretty pink champagne color so so gorgeous by the way my wig is not lifting i just have foundation on the little baby hair so it kind of gives the illusion that my wig is lifting but it's not i promise you <laughs> all right moving on to the very last row over here so the very first color that we have on the last row is this black intense color when i tell you guys this is an intense black you guys will see right now when i show you the makeup looks that i create that it's really really intense this black and passion fruit kind of makes like a purpley color and i was like <gasps> i was so shook when i mixed the colors because it made this like beautiful. you guys will see it at the end of the video you guys will see the makeup look that i created with these two colors there's matter on one finger oh my god girl she's like intense all right this next one that we have is passion fruit like i said it's like a magenta really pretty kind of like plummy color oh so freaking pretty so that is them next to each other super super gorgeous and then after that we have angelic now this color is really different it's kind of like a blue lilac silver i didn't want to do just like a straight up silver it's just so pretty especially on the inner corner when i tell you guys oh i use this on the inner corner when the looks that you guys are about to see and it looks so freaking pretty it kind of has like a blue purpley undertone i can't explain it but it's just so freaking pretty oh <laughs> Moving on to the very last color, it's just like a forest green. This one is named Cha Ching, kind of like money, you know? Okay, this one's gonna be hard because of my nail. But this is just like your straight up forest green color. Super, super pretty. All right, guys, so that's it for the swatching. Now, last night, I literally stayed up until 2 in the morning and I created 20 simple looks towards the end they get a little bit more difficult but i just wanted to show you know my beginners the people that are not really into makeup that you are able to create looks with this palette you don't have to be a big makeup artist that you know you eat breathe and live makeup this can be a palette for anyone for your mom for even if you if you want to start doing makeup i'm about to show you guys the simple looks that you can create with this palette and then down the road after this video of course i'm going to do like more in depth intricate detailed probably like a mint pink reverse ombre half cut crease type of thing i didn't want to do that on this video because girl we would be here for an hour but let's go ahead and see the looks i created that little snippet of some of the makeup looks that you can create with this palette like i said my palette is only 19 dollars right now so i would recommend you get it now instead of when it goes up to 23 so you have until march 3rd to get this palette only for 19 dollars and of course this would not be a daisy marquez video without doing a giveaway so i am giving away some of my palettes to you guys all you have to do is comment down below which one was your favorite look and you are automatically entered to win a palette. You are going to be receiving it with the whole PR package and everything. This is what the outside looks like. It looks so cute. It's kind of like see-through, kind of like letting you know like, mm, this is what's inside. Come get me, open me. I love even like the outside packaging of it. It looks super, super cute. But that is it for this video. Once again, thank you guys so, so, so much for everything, for the constant love and support. I love you guys so much. Here, camera hug. <laughs> all right that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it do not forget to purchase the palette if you purchase the palette and you create looks tag me i'll retweet you i'll follow you i'm gonna go on a huge following spree after this because i'm just like i want to see what you guys are up to with the palette so once again for the millionth time thank you from the bottom of my heart i love you guys bye see you guys in my next video